Uh, hi everyone, this is the tutorial for the loop version of Gangster's Paradise by Coolio. Hope you enjoy it, hope it's useful, and uh, again, thank you so much for watching. Take it easy. So we'll start with the intro. I start with like a muted, which is just done by holding your hands quite lightly over the fretboard um, and just playing. And I do that mainly to keep in time because the problem with using a loop pedal sometimes, if you just click the loop pedal straight away, when you're into your chord, um, then it's hard to get your rhythm in your mind. Um, but that's what I find anyway. I'm sure some of you guys won't, but, um, so I like to just, sometimes I'll do that just to get into the feel of the rhythm and then you make sure that your loop's on point then. Okay, intro. And an intro slow. Okay, so the intro has got three chords. You've got um, that ninth fret on the B string and eighth fret on the E string. Then you just slide all that down one. And that, so eighth fret, seventh fret. And then the only other chord is like a sort of double stop there, eighth fret on both. So those are the three chords you're gonna need. All right, so the breakdown of the rhythm um, is basically just going off feel with it really, but in terms of breaking down how it sounds, I think I'm playing one chord and then muting and doing a downstroke, upstroke. So you're getting this. If that, that didn't sound good, but you know what I mean? Uh, so. And I think how I'm muting it is putting down my uh, these two fingers here, but pinking my third finger in between each chord. So. And then the last bit of it is playing the, the, the chord there and then just the B string on its own. And then you don't need to worry about the muting there. I'm not sure if that's technically what you're meant to do muting wise, but Again, it's just about feel and how it, how it sounds, so hope that helps. Cool. Okay, for the bass, uh, I've got a Boss Octave um, pedal on, but again, you don't need one of those. Um, but it's definitely rattling around in that gaff at the minute. So hopefully you can hear that coming through. best bass lines of all time that beautiful okay so here's the uh, bass line slope okay so the bass is based on wait <laughs> the bass is based on only the e string and the a string so the bottom two, and it's kind of on this pattern of the pentatonic. So one, four, one, four, three. Um, so yeah, so we start on the fourth fret of the E string, down to the first, and then back up to the fourth. So if you've got massive hands, you can play that with your, like your fourth thing, the third finger, I like to just play it in pinky, but it's up to you guys. Or you alternatively could slide it, it's either way. And then into the third fret of the A string, second, first fret of the A string, and then you're gonna slide from the third to the fourth on the E, and then hit that third. So that phrase. Is the first phrase, and we'll, we'll come back to that again and repeat that in a minute. And then there's this run up to conclude this part of the, the riff, which is one, three, on the E string, one, three, on the A string. And then slide up to the fifth, slide up to the sixth on that A string, so. Okay, so for the second half of the bass riff, we do the exact same thing to start with. And the second half of the phrase is a bit different, so instead of doing the, we're gonna just do the first three. So one, 
three, one on the A string, and then you're going to slide up to the sixth, and then slide fifth, slide down to the third. Now, importantly, like I'm not picking every note because I think then you, you get get sounds a bit rubbish. So you, if you in this phrase, for example, pick the first three, then the slide, and then I'm not picking anything gives it a bit more of a smoother feel. I hope that makes sense. Cool. Okay, lead section. Okay, so if we break down the solo, you start on the 16th fret of the B string, play it once, and then you're gonna bend up and then back to the 16th. So that bend, you want it to sound like the 18th fret, really. That note, so a full bend. Then into the 15th fret. And then 13th fret. You're gonna hit that twice. That's the first half of the phrase. And the second half, you're gonna hit the 13th fret again, quite quickly, twice. Into the 12th. Then 12th on the G string. And then the 15th on the B. So that bit. And then you're gonna bend this one up just a tiny bit, back down. Then 13th, 11th, 13th. So that bit. Rock and roll. Okay, into the next section, which is like the Ebo section, or the which is the choir bit in the song, um, which I really like. So I was using my mate's Ebo, which is like a little device which uh, sends some sort of signal down the strings, and you get really loads of sustain. It's meant to like emulate a violin, but um, I don't have that anymore. My mate's uh, using it at the minute, so obviously because it's his. <laughs> I'd, so what I would suggest is if you don't have one, it's no worries. I'm just I've just put a big muff on, um, like a, a bit of a sustain. But if you've got a distortion pedal or anything, or if not, it's not a problem. Um, but this phrase goes like this. So yeah, so breaking down that, it's starting on the all on the G string. You're gonna go fifth fret. Slide up to the eighth, then seventh, slide back down to the fifth, slide to the fourth, and then fifth, and then slide up, slide up again to the eighth, so seventh and eighth. And the key thing there is maybe not, not picking it as much as, 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 as you can, so like kind of trying to slide between and use your finger strength um, to get that sound. Cool. Okay, the second sort of Ebo section is on the A string. So you're gonna start on, it's gonna sound like this. So breaking that down a bit, we've got the 11th fret to start with. Sliding up to the uh, 15th, 13th, 11th, 10th. And then all the way down to the 6th, 5th, 3rd. Uh, yeah, so again with the picking thing, maybe try not to pick as many as you can, but it is what it is. Cool. Okay, which brings us nicely onto the outro section, uh, based off that rhythm section, so it's like this. with that octave at the bass, there you go. Cool. Okay, so this section is, obviously we started from there. Then you're gonna slide up to the first chord. And you're gonna pick the E, oh sorry, the B string, E string, B string. And then 
then you're going to play it like hammering on, you're playing both notes, so hammering the E string onto the 11th, and then sliding it down to the 10th, and then just the chord, slide the chord down, then that picking thing again, then you're going to hammer on to the 8th, and then the 10th, slide up to the 11th, which is quite a stretch, and then slide that chord back up. Same picking pattern, hammer on to the 11th again, 10th, slide down to that chord, picking pattern, and then you're going to play that note which is the 8th uh, fret of the G string, S slide down to the, uh, uh, there, slide down to the 7th, then the 5th, and then you're going to hit that octave, which is the 3rd fret of the A string. So that run down. Which I think is quite a nice way to finish off the tune. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Woo! Uh, thank you again for watching. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if you need any clarification on any of the bits that I've done. Um, yeah, honestly, I really appreciate it. And if you need me, to, want me to slash need me to do any more tutorial videos, let me know. If you'd rather I stopped, please also let me know. And uh, yeah, keep playing. Peace and love. Take it easy. Bye-bye.